as a young man, there's going to be a time in your life where your friends, your colleagues, people you grew up with in high school, college, what have you, there's going to come a time in your life where those people are going to fade away. Even some of your own family members, even some of your own family members are going to fade. People that you were once very close with, some people that you might have called best friends, acquaintances, all of that. It kind of fades. And this is the strongest time or the best time to strengthen yourself. This is the best time to really find out what your capabilities are if you haven't already. Because let's face it, a lot of men do not know what their capabilities are because they have been mixing with external entities too much, whether it be friends influencing them and even some of your own family members as well. So when you escape their clutches, so to speak, this is the best time. Let me get into it. This is a Tarek Talks Midnight Podcast. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. So this alone time that you're going to have, because trust and believe, these people that you swear are your brothers, that you swore were your best friends, your homies, whatever. At some point, if you ever enlighten, reach a level of enlightenment, you will realize that a lot of the things that you are doing with these people is serving you no benefit. As a matter of fact, it is most likely not serving you any benefit. But like I just said, this is if you start to be enlightened. And this might happen because of many reasons, whether if it's you seeing that you're not going anywhere in life or you feel like you're being held back or you feel like you're just capable of so much more than what you're already doing. This is when this happens. If it does happen, happen because a lot of men out here are content. They want to be the center of attention or they want to have a huge social group. They feel like having a huge social group of quote unquote friends is is just the end all be all like they have to be hanging out on the weekends. They have to be getting drunk. They have to be talking about hoes. They have to do drugs. You know, all of this, all that type of stuff. They feel like that's what's missing in their lives. And even the people that never do wake up, so to speak, they still have this feeling of lack of potential of man i could really be doing something way better than this my life can be taken off so much better than this so even they feel it they just don't act upon that feeling okay but when you do and if you do you are going to start fading away from these so-called associates so-called brothers so-called friends even some of the family members that do stuff that is non not conducive to building a better life. And to be quite honest with you, I would go so far as to say as that you have to let them go. Now, this is just me. This is just Tarek Talks. And I'm not trying to give anyone advice. I'm just throwing this out there to the people that feel like this is the right thing to do, right? Because there's an old saying. It says, when the student is ready, a teacher appears. And I'm not calling myself a teacher. I'm just saying that these are things that I experienced myself. And ever since I started implementing these strategies or the this way of life, my life has went on an upward trajectory. So with that being said, you need to cut off any type of anchor. You need to let go of any type of anchor meaning bad habits it's not just people it's bad habits there are so many vices out here to indulge in we live in a very liberated 
society, which has its ups because we can pretty much do whatever we want to a certain extent, of course. But a lot of people decide to do the wrong things because wrong things are in their face 24 seven and they fall victim. There is literally there is a liquor store literally every block from where I live. So that's just one example of how easy it is to fall into vices. But you have to make a conscious decision, whatever it is. And when you're by yourself. Now, quick little side note before I continue with this, just because I say that you need that solitary time. I'm not telling you to be an antisocial misfit. I'm not telling you to be a hermit. I'm not telling you to lose all your social skills because you still have to maneuver through this world. You still have to interact with people. You still need people's help. No matter how much you think you're independent, you're still going to need other people. So make sure you're respectful. This is not a podcast telling you to lose all type of interaction and to tell you that, hey, go go in your closet or go in the hiding in your basement and just disconnect from society altogether. This is not the intent of it. What the intent of this is, is to spend most of your time cultivating whatever it is that you are good at and cutting out bad habits so that when you do go out into the public, You're well equipped. You're well equipped for the world. But you need to cut off those external influences that you have. If you feel like your friends and associates are pressuring you, okay, or there or you are being influenced by them, no one is forcing you to hang out with them, first of all. Right? This is a choice that you're making. Yeah, they might fuss, they might get mad and Throw a little fit, but who gives a shit? They're not going to pay your rent. They're not going to pay your bills. So it really doesn't matter what they think. You know, if they feel like bringing you down with them is bonding, then who the hell needs those type of friends anyway? If they feel like bonding is doing useless shit, like getting intoxicated and, and chasing broads, then who needs those type of friends anyway? So when you cut those external influences off, you're faced with yourself. And sometimes it's you're going to go through a depression type of phase. You're going to go through a phase where you feel like you're lonely, where you feel like you have nobody. And that's completely normal because that means that you're going to grow. But the thing about it is, is that little time of loneliness and pain is the true test. It's like an obstacle course. If you can get past that, then you can go on to the next level. But most people, they don't they never make it past that stage. They go right back to doing what they were doing because they just can't handle being by themselves. It's hard. It's hard being solitary for a little while. It's hard to wake up early in the morning. It's hard changing your habits from getting drunk and intoxicated and sleeping in until 11 in the afternoon to now suddenly you're waking up early in the morning on Saturdays. It's hard to change from having bad hygiene because you're always intoxicated and because you're always in in a in a daze to now you have some kind of steady routine. You know, it's hard at first, but once you get in the swing of it, once you get in the swing of consistently going to the gym, consistently drinking water, so on and so forth, it's hard to go back to being a scumbag. You know, I, I hate I hate saying those type of harsh words, but it is what it is. You know, it's hard to go back and be sloppy. It's hard to go back and do things that are not beneficial. It's hard to let yourself go at that point, because if you pass that stage, 
of being solitary and being alone, you are going to, like I said, this this is if you pass it, you're going to be building yourself up. You're going to see results. You're going to see yourself flourish. You're going to see yourself looking healthier, looking better. You know, if it's attraction that you want, you're going to get a lot of quote unquote choosing signals now because you look cleaner, you look healthier, your body's looking right. You walk in a little better. You're not dazed and confused. So you're able to have a sharp mind. You're able to have a focused mind. So now you're able to see all of this stuff. And once you get to that level, you're going to tell yourself, damn, man. It's, it's going to be hard for me to go back to being a loser. Now, am I saying that people don't don't go back to doing that? I'm not saying that at all, because. A lot of people, hey, look, they're going to fall prey. They're going to fall victim to going back to their old habits because what's the old saying? Old habits die hard. But if you're one of those select few people, you're going to stick with it. That alone time that you had, you're going to start discovering certain talents that you have and you're going to start discovering that, hey, look, No one is here to tell me what to do. So I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. Right. That was one of the reasons why I even started making YouTube videos, because at first I'm like, dang, what if someone what if my friends, quote unquote, say something about this? What if this person says I was like, you know what? I'm by myself. I'm solitary. I don't give a shit anymore. And here I am making these podcasts, making these videos, because I didn't have anyone to tell me what and what not to do. And the thing about having friends, quote unquote, is they're going to give their unwarranted advice and bad advice at that. They're going to like, man, that's lame. And I'll never forget when I started working out. I had so many so-called friends and homeboys, whatever you want to call them, talking down on, on me working out. They were actually talking down. They're like, oh, man, you be doing that too much. Why are you trying to eat healthy? Why are you trying to cut down alcohol? And they were trying to make me look bad until I just cut them off like, fuck y'all. Literally, literally, I just cut them off. Ever since then, life has been on an upward trajectory. And the reason why I didn't stop earlier was because I was too worried about what the hell they're they're saying. And then I woke up one day like, who gives a damn? Who cares what they're saying? They're not going to bail me out of jail if, God forbid, something happens. They're not going to pay my rent. Why in the hell am I worried about what these losers are thinking? So, you know, with that being said, I hope you guys found this useful. Use that time by yourself wisely. Peace.